The lack of sleep among Americans due to sleep disorders is considered a public health epidemic. Students at Gateway Community College are training to become the technologists that uncover what's keeping so many people up at night. Right now he's, a, he's starting to snore. It's a typical night in the polysomnographic technology program. Students gather to monitor a patient who is in the very next room, sound asleep. The technology and labs used in this program mirror that of the sleep study centers these students will one day work in. Every course that we have has a lab associated with it. So before they go out for their clinical training, they get the hands-on training here on campus that they need in order to make them successful with our clinical partners. Before they turn out the lights, students prep their sleep study volunteers with all the necessary electrodes. The brain waves tell us that they're asleep along with their eye movements and then the muscle tone that we discussed, which we monitor from the chin. So we also look at leg movements, we put leads on the legs, and then we look at their respiratory effort and their respiratory airflow. They get about three to four hours to sleep and we often do see abnormalities here in our uh, lab practice. It is estimated 50 to 70 million people in the United States suffer from sleep disorders. With each breath, students are learning how to find and treat what is keeping so many people from getting a good night's sleep. Well, we do uh, look at things like insomnia and the inability to sleep in our sleep disorder center. About 85% of our patient load is actually people with uh, some type of sleep-related breathing disorder, uh, the, the most common of which is sleep apnea. So you can see he's in stage two right now. He's got K-complexes and sleep spindles. Nugent says sleep apnea is identified by snoring and pauses in breathing. Left untreated, it can lead to serious health consequences. Diabetes, hypertension, cardiac disease, stroke, heart attack, and even an early death. Students are often drawn to sleep disorder medicine because they may have a sleep disorder themselves or know a family member who has been affected by one. My mother, my grandmother, my father, everyone is horrible snorers. My father does have sleep apnea, so does my mother. After years with her own sleep issues, Christina recently underwent a sleep study. The diagnosis? She also has sleep apnea. Two months ago, I would have been yawning this whole time I'm talking to you because I was just constantly yawning all day long. She says the use of a continuous positive airway okay. pressure or CPAP machine is giving her the quality sleep she never had. I would get the kids to school and come home and go back to bed and then get up and get the kids from school, basically waste my whole day. The treatment has changed her life, and once she finishes her degree in this program, she hopes to put sleep issues to rest for others. It's very rewarding to have a patient wake up in the morning and tell you, I haven't felt like this in 20 years, you saved my life. Reporting for Maricopa Now, I'm Kim Getz. The polysomnographic technology program at Gateway is the only one of its kind in the state of Arizona.